Hi everybody, I'm sitting with Julie Davis here at All Nations Church in Cardiff and Julie has a remarkable testimony about something that she was involved in when she was in Cuba when was it? in the spring, April. Back, back in April. April. We're now in October 2016 and back in April Julie was part of a missions team from All Nations Church that went to Cuba and uh, tell us the story, what happened Julie? Okay, well we went to a place called Moron which is in the center of Cuba and uh, we had been on various trips out around that area to missions, to churches, where we had, um, I don't think I'd ever seen so many people to pray for. So I must have prayed for hundreds of people. But there were a few that God put on my heart. And one particular lady in the church in Moran, we were praying, a crowd came up in the evening, and we were praying that evening. Um, and this particular lady it was towards the end of, of the prayer time uh, and she came up and I couldn't understand her, she was yeah. speaking in Spanish, right. I was praying in English and in tongues, and, but, but there was just something in her eyes yes. and she, it was obvious that she cared for the church there at Moran, there was lots going on in her life, um, so I just prayed and she was on my heart. Um, and afterwards, the pastora, Deborah, who was our translator on the trip, um, came up to me and said, Nidia is a lovely lady. That's the lady's name. That's the lady's name. Um, she's a lovely lady. Uh, she, and we prayed, I prayed with Nidia and with uh, Deborah for the church, for the pastor and pa for the pastora, because that was Nidia's yeah. wish. After Nidia had gone, Deborah said to me, um, can you pray for this lady? And I thought, I've just done that. <laughs> um, but it was, uh, Deborah disclosed to me that this lady had a tumour on her brain. Right. And she was so worried, because life is hard in Cuba anyway. Yes, it is. But she was so worried for her granddaughter, because if she felt that if it was her time to be with the Lord, then what would happen to her granddaughter? Okay. Her granddaughter would be left. Right. And that kind of really hit my heart. <laughs> yes. Um, so I promised Deborah that I would be on my knees for that lady right. when I came home. And I was faithful to that. So since Literally, April, you've been praying for her? On my knees. How often? Can I, can I ask how often? Uh, initially, it was every night. Yes. And then I got a sense from the Lord that I've got this. Something's done. I've got this. Okay. Uh, and um, so I, she's always on my mind. She's always in my heart. And I've had a really tough day on Monday. Lots going on in my life. But I came home to Deborah's uh, email in which she said that uh, Nidia had scheduled for an operation on the 17th of September and as is their kind of process she had gone on the 12th of September for a, a pre-investigation uh, right. just to check pre-operation kind of exam and the tumour had completely disappeared completely gone wow. completely. praise God completely praise, praise God, God. The, the surgeons were just amazed nothing there at all nothing so Jesus and it's your concerted prayer, really. Yes, he's faithful. So yeah. faithful. So how, how long, was it? that was in April, how long do you think, you said, I felt something was done. When, did, when was it, how soon afterwards, how long did it, you think? Uh, um, I would say in about June. I, f I felt the, the sort of release. Right. I didn't have to be so urgent in my prayers. I mean, um, the, the email from, um, from Deborah, said that Nidia felt that she was healed from that evening. Right. From, from the moment okay. that we prayed. Um, but yeah, it's just incredible. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> so you find that some miracles are immediate like that, but other times you think you pray, and then you just know, you know, and here it is a few weeks later and you get this news. But the word this morning is kind of just thank him. Thank him for what he has done. Yeah. Even if you don't have the knowledge yes. that it's been done. And that was a key feature of your praying? Uh, kind of, God, it's, it's, it's in your hands. It's kind of, um, I can't do anything yes. other 
rather than ask you to do something. Yes. And he's done it. <laughs> and he's done it. And what, have, what have you learned from that then? Don't give up. Don't give and up. Don't give up. And um, I, before I went to Cuba, um, I think I have very rarely prayed and believed in that prayer for somebody. Right. Now, you can't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Well, thanks for sharing, Julia. Clearly, it's a, it's a very emotional yeah. movie, and I think that's wonderful. But thank you for sharing with us. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs>